Hi everybody and welcome to Frank's 3D Shop. In this video, I assembled my new Prusa MK3S printer. You can follow along in the Prusa assembly instructions. I give you some of my tricks to make it easier for you. Another excellent resource is the online manual from Prusa. See the link below. If you have a problem on a step, read the comments for that section. They can be very handy. Okay, chapter three. Yes, same tools, prepare. Okay, I'm gonna take the bags for step three. Three, step three. Oh, okay, so we need, so we don't need this for now. One bearing, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Two bearings, XN motor, XN idler, four linear bearings, four it, it, they are all the same, they are 18, so four and three, 18, one nylon, one lock nut, and one bearing housing. Insert the LM8UU bearings into the printed part. XN motor and I XN idler. As shown in the picture, make sure that the bearings in each printed part is pushed all the way down. You see that you can try to push it in this way. Oh yeah, that's it. Place the two bearings in a way that the inner balls of the second bearing are rotated 45 degrees compared to the first. Ah, okay. So this one is like this. So the other one should be like this. So it's like this, and this one is like this. Nope. <laughs> move. Okay, this one is harder to move. This one is, yeah. So I'm gonna rotate this one. So I don't know if you will be able to see this. Yeah, I think so. So the first bearings, the first bearing has is not on each side of the other one. So 45 degrees. That way it achieves the maximum contact with the smooth rod, they say. So same thing here. That's it. Is it? No, it's the, it's the same way. Can I move it? Yeah. Okay. So 45 degrees. Yep. Good. So you have to, to push them in. You cannot use a screwdriver to push it in. This is too fragile. Here, this is a this is in plastic. Those little balls they move in the channel. So 45 degrees, flush here, and flush here, and you cannot push them from the other side. You need to be spaced that way. So flush and flush. Tensioner. So you need the Oh, it's easy. So you push in all the way down a nut, and then one of the screws. So it's deeper than the picture. It's deeper than the picture. It's, it's about three millimeters deep. You have to be able to tread it. Tighten the screw until the head almost reaches the surface of the printed part. We will adjust tension later. Make sure the M318 screw is not visible as it will be, as it will block. Oh, okay. So you have to make sure it's not visible inside, inside here. So I have to bag it off. You don't see it in the hole there. So you take the other part, the smaller part, and insert the nylon lock not here. I'm gonna use a, an Allen key, try to guide it, then use a plier 
to push it in. Don't use excessive force. Leave the nut there so it's enough. Okay. Answer the bearing in the idler. Secure it with the M318 screw. Use the screw to pull the nut in. Place your finger in the in, on the bearing. Ensure that it rotates freely. So I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna try to bring the nut in. Because it seems to be moving. I think it's enough. Does it rotate? No, it doesn't rotate. It's hard to see if it turns. I'm gonna put some small dots on the thing so it moves, it moves freely. Take the remaining smooth rods. You need the longest rods, the two longest rods. And it's, yep, right length. Three linear bearings, so the remaining three. Now be very careful, gently insert the bearing key. Same thing as before, you don't want to push out the small balls. So you don't use any force to push it in. It should be smooth. It is. It should be that easy to get in. If you push out balls, consider getting a new bearing. I have some here just in case <laughs> okay now we need to insert the rods in the printed parts enter the correct orientation so I'm gonna use this as a template it's like this and the one bearing on top and you have to push them all in all the way in so I'm pushing not too hard but turning at the same time and you can use the other part and you can see here if you have pushed enough you have to see the smooth rod you have to see the smooth rod in this little corner and in this little corner same thing on the other side so I'm gonna try to push them in like this Oh, this is art! I think I've got it. Yep. So it's all the way in. All the way in. Same thing here. Same thing here. And then we need the X motor and the pulley. Ensure that you are using the correct motor. X axis. There's a flat part on the shaft. Same as before on the Y axis. Slide the pulley on the right side, this, this time it's the other way. Then what I do is I screw in one of the... I align one of the screws with the flat piece, the flat spot. Then you screw it in and just barely out and it cannot rotate anymore. Please uh, leave a gap so that the pulley, so, so that the, the pulley can rotate freely. Don't tighten firmly yet. So I'm just gonna just barely touching like this. 3M318 screws. The motor. Place the motor as in the picture. So with the wire out this way. Then oh. screws. And you screw them in the motor. They say to tighten them, so not too much. I know that we will have to adjust tension here in the future when we put in, put on the pulley, uh, the, the strap. Final check. Look if it's like in the picture. So this is the correct way. Two bearings down, one up. This is okay. And this part is here. This part is the same as the other one. 
and the motor cable is at the right place cool so that's it for this chapter three that was easy cool that's it for me if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and see you in the next video ciao bye